Hello guys, this is Alexandre from Renault Studio. I want to show you today a quick tutorial on how to do uh, your own uh, collider like this with the uh, jiggle effect. So I think it's pretty cool and very simple to do. So uh, you're gonna find this on the on my website. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now. It's gonna appear on top here, so you can see other stuff I made and uh, you can download the, this scene also for free but I'm gonna show you how to set it up so you can build your own uh, easy so yeah let's get started so first of all I'm gonna create two sphere here one is gonna be the collider sphere and one is gonna be the deform. So one collider, one deform. So once we have that, I'm gonna I'm gonna create uh, a bifrost graph here and delete the input because we're gonna bring those two input here, the deform and the collider. And what we want is to uh, tag the point that uh, the collider is gonna be uh, the point that of the collider, uh, the point of the collider that is gonna be inside the deformed uh, sphere. So to have this information, we're gonna get the the tag inside geometry node here, and we're gonna plug it uh, the deform here and the bounding uh, geometry here. So now we can see the the effect here. You see the point has been tagged. So now we have this information. We can uh, get the this point and get to the closest location of this of this collider sphere. So I'm gonna get a if. So if it's true, if that's true, I'm gonna get. Um, the point position gonna get the, the point position of the deformed sphere that is here and I want to get the closest location onto the other sphere so the point position get the closest location onto the other sphere and uh, then I'm gonna to get this uh, the point position out of this location I'm gonna sample sample property here I'm gonna sample the property uh, the point position of the collider sphere here and I'm gonna set a mat float tree default uh, data uh, type to get an array of point here so if it's true get this point position and if it's false get the default point position so once we have that we can set the point position to apply the effect so let's set the point position to the deformed sphere and let's see what happened there you go. So if I hide this because Bifrost create a new geometry. So if I hide the deformed geometry here, you see the effect happen. So I think it's pretty cool. It's uh, it does uh, like a push or a, a collision uh, effect. So once we have that, we can also uh, here with Mesh we can uh, add a jiggle deformer. Just press. Uh, I select the deformed sphere and apply it. So, so now, um, I don't think it worked. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So now it worked. So if we want to smooth this geometry, we can uh, also um, go in the node editor here and get the bifrost uh, shape. 
and I want to convert this to a, a real geometry Maya mesh so I'm gonna create a, a temporary uh, sphere just to get I'm gonna also delete the history and I'm gonna bring this in and uh, what I want is just to uh, by Frost Geo to Maya so, yeah. so you have this node here you just connect the out geometry to the by Frost Geo and the out mesh to the in mesh of any shape so it gives the, the, the shape to this uh, new mesh here so we can call it result uh, sphere and I can hide this so now I have uh, this jiggle effect happening and I can smooth it so it's look better there we go so I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next video ciao